We're going to head out today to Independence, Kansas to meet up with some good friends. We're going to stay the night at Elk City State Park and hike the Elk River Hiking Trail. With a recommendation from some good friends, we stopped off at Maria Mexican Restaurant for a quick bite after a long drive. If you find yourself in Independence, Kansas, make sure to stop by and enjoy some authentic Mexican food. With some time to spare before we could check into the campground, we thought we could walk off for lunch by stopping by the Riverside Park and Ralph Mitchell Zoo. Located in the middle of town, Independence offers a great stop for the weary traveler to get out, stretch your legs, let the kids play, see some animals, have a picnic, and just enjoy the several small streams and waterfalls in the park. While we didn't get to enjoy all the sights in Independence, we'll save that for another trip. Some points of interest that maybe I'd see next time would be the Independence Historical Museum and Art Center, or maybe you fancy the Little House on the Prairie Museum. Heading west about 15 minutes to Elk City State Park, which sits on the east side of Elk City Lake. We set up a primitive campsite on Timber Road. Reservations can be made online and were $10 a night. We were allowed to have multiple tents and two vehicles. An extra $5 state parking pass is required if you do not already have an annual state of Kansas parking pass. Completed in 1966, Elk City Lake has become a destination for all of its outdoor activities. It has an approximate total surface area of 4,500 acres. Great for water activities such as fishing, boating, skiing, kayaking, and swimming. The lake is surrounded by over 50 miles of shoreline and 12,000 acres of beautiful meadow, oak and hickory forests, native tall grass prairies, and sandstone bluffs. Available for your convenience are four campgrounds with over 90 RV utility sites, 50 primitive sites, boat ramps, fishing docks, playgrounds, hiking trails, biking trails, three basketball courts, and an 18-hole par-3 golf course. We're on Post Oak Self-Guided Nature Trail, giving it a check out. here on day two at the Elk River hiking trail and uh, we're going to go hike take some pictures should be lots of fun of the six hiking trails at Elk City Lake Elk River hiking trail is the longest of these trails it is a total of 15 miles with cutout points at 9.5 miles from the East Trailhead or 5.5 miles from the West Trailhead it can be started from any of these three points on the map
2006, Elk River Hiking Trail received a National Trails designation. With its vast sandstone bluffs, lake overlooks, forest, grasslands, and ever-changing terrain, I can see why many, including myself, say this is by far the best hiking trail available in Kansas. While we didn't get the opportunity to fish this visit, the lake is stocked full of crappie, wipers, white bass, largemouth bass, saugai, various sunfish, channel catfish, and flatheads. Even the world record flathead was caught in 1998 by Ken Polly at Elk City Lake. It was a whopping 123 pounds. To understand the beauty of this trail, we need to look at the history of the surrounding geology. We must go back 300 million years, when Kansas was still just a shallow sea. While prominent throughout the world, sandstone is created when beds of sand settle in low-lying areas such as a basin. Over time, as sediment settles on top of sand, the pressure causes them to form an almost cement-like rock called sandstone. Over time, as the sea recedes, the sandstone reveals itself and millions of years of erosion leaves what we see today as sandstone bluffs.
For any hiking trip I take, I always like to be prepared. So in my backpack, I have a two and a half liter water bladder, sunscreen, bug spray, snacks such as trail mix, energy bars, a small first aid kit, a nice hat, sunglasses, a multi-tool, always carry my hand sanitizer, a rain jacket or a poncho in case it starts raining, a good knife, my walking sticks because they always are able to take out the spider webs, and of course my camera gear which I'm using to shoot this video. While hiking on the trail, we did see a few things such as waterfowl, native birds, rabbits, squirrels, and turtles. There are plenty of other wildlife in the area such as raccoons, bobcats, beavers, fox, deer, turkey, armadillos, and coyotes. Right about the eight mile mark. How you doing, Josh? Good. My legs are hurting, but we just went for a jog and I'm feeling better. Good, good.
as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed the hike. Taking a scenic hike, something I randomly like. If you like it too, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. See future hikes.